What's happening riders? Welcome to my channel. We have this box to unbox. So what is inside of it? We'll find out together. I ordered this from Cycle Lab in South Africa. Um, I am in Cape Town. They are in Boxburg. I needed some winter riding stuff. And in this box is some winter riding stuff. I ordered this six days ago. Shut the fuck up. Dog. Service felt a bit slow from Cycle Lab. Maybe two days for them to book it out. And then they only booked out one item. Then the following day, they booked out the second item. Eventually they shipped it. So all in all, it took just under a week for me to receive the parcel and the items that I purchased. I've definitely received better service and faster shipping from other online stores in South Africa. Items are here, let's open this box up. This is the Fox Defend jacket. So it's like a windbreaker. This was on special for 899 Rand and that's probably why I bought it. So this was like 50 US dollars here on special. It seemed like the appropriate thing to do now in this cold weather and it's raining and the weather sucks at the moment in Cape Town. There's freaking snow on the mountains. It's not nice to ride out without something warm. Hopefully this is gonna be the solution for that. I have other jackets, but I've lost a ton of weight. So um, none of them fit me anymore. I'm a size small now where I used to be a large. I have got uh, like a couple jackets that just flap and are like air brakes while I'm riding bike. This is just a windbreaker so it's not going to protect me from any rain and I didn't purchase it to be a waterproof jacket. I, I don't go out in the rain in the first place because that's just to ride in the rain. I just need something that's windproof, that's not gonna flap around. I don't know, maybe this is gonna be the solution. One thing that I did notice is that they've missed an item. There's supposed to be two things in this box. Hey, Brew, where the f is my second item here? Maybe they're shipping them separately, I don't know. There's supposed to be this and something else. So we'll probably do another one of these unboxings pretty soon. I'm curious about the fit. I've heard that it's a quite a small fit. Speaking of fit, let's see if they got the size right. Well, they got the size right, it's a small. Let me try this on and see what the fit is like. My little tie over here. The fit is rad. It is nice and tight. It's a very slim fit. What I do notice is that they are f cool pockets. So no pockets going on here. It's got a little bit of stretch over here, like a stretchy material just on the bottom part with a little bit of silicone to keep this in place on your wrists. I've got pretty skinny wrists. So this isn't very tight over there on my wrist. Not very tight. Feels a lot like a road jacket. Defend sounds very mountain bikey. That's why I bought it. But maybe it's supposed to defend you from the wind. Really thin material. Zip feels okay. I suppose if I crash once with this, it's like in a logo. Let's get a crotch shot here. It does have some silicone there to hold it in place. Tag. Yeah, no pockets. More crotch shot for you guys. It's like breathable on the back. The spinal column is over here and this is like breathable because it has holes. There is something, there is a pocket. Oh my God, there's one pocket on this jacket. <laughs> it's right in the middle, in the center of the jacket at the bottom but the pocket's on the inside, so you probably gotta flip this inside out to get access to it. Let's, let's see how that's gonna work. So that's where it is supposed to be over there. So to get access to it, you have to, like... Fuck sakes, I can't get, even get to this fucking pocket. That is probably just to, fold this whole jacket into itself. Look at that. I'm not taking that tag off now, but if I remove this tag, this can fold up into a little tiny little ball like that. 
Huge shout out to my patrons, you brews are amazing. If you aren't a patron yet and you want to support and help the channel, head on over to my patron account. There you will get longer videos. Phone. So let's round this video up with my final thoughts and first impressions on this. It feels really lightweight, very thin, going to be suitable for either road riding, mountain biking, trail riding, cross country, downhill, whatever. It's a windbreaker. It's just going to break the wind. It's super lightweight, very small. It folds up into a very small shape, which you can put inside a pocket. I think it's a very nice small fit, very snug and very slim. So out on the trails and out on the road, I don't think it's going to be much flapping and wafting of this jacket inside the in the wind. I wear a small with all my shirts and this is pretty much in line with that. Price is okay. Quality wise it seems like okay quality. I can't say 100% now because I haven't worn it yet. I'll take it out there in the real world and produce a proper review on this. It's nice and visible so if you are out on the road you'll be seen, you'll be spotted. If you are out on the trail you'll be seen inside the woods seems like it will be breathable on the back by the spine area because there are lots of little holes in the jacket over there. The downsides on this jacket, I don't think that this is going to be waterproof or even water resistant. It's so thin. Rain will get through that jacket and it will touch your skin and you will get wet. Because it's so lightweight, if you do happen to fall with this, this is going to tear. It feels paper thin. The arms do feel like a little bit short for a small, so it might be like an inch short. <laughs> Subscribe if you like my channel, hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I drop a video. Smash that like button, share this video and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions about this jacket, leave it in the comment section too. I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for hooking up with me today. I will catch you on the next episode.